Hello and welcome to March West Junction Term D. Today I've got a short video for you just showing you some uh, detail that I've added to uh, the layout that has cost not a lot of money and uh, some of new items that I've purchased for the layout. So uh, sit back, uh, get yourself a drink and uh, enjoy. Okay, the first thing uh, that I want to show you is this uh, catenary that I've bought from uh, Rudland Models. Now, uh, Alan at Dragon Junction has mentioned about uh, that Rudland Models now are doing 3D printing products as well. And uh, I went there uh, the weekend uh, and they do some fantastic stuff like containers, loads of stuff, narrow boats, and it's not mega expensive. Uh, I picked up this pack of uh, catenary gantries and uh, they ain't too bad, they're nice, nicely printed, need a little bit of cleaning up but I think once painted and adding a few more bits of detail around where the cables are held I think they'll look quite good and uh, I picked this pack up for uh, £4.50 and that's the name of the shop, Rudland Models and uh, if you go online you can see them online so i think it's the first page you come to it's got the 3d printed stuff and uh, this is number 046 for a pack of uh, five for four pound fifty which i thought was uh, pretty reasonable they also do uh, a pack of 10 as well and they do it in engage as well so uh, i thought it's a handy little kit to uh, have for the layout Okay, something new I've added to the layout are these uh, signs. The station now has actually got uh, some signage now. Now, uh, what I did, I uh, did these on a Word document and then uh, printed them off in colour, adding the BR logo as you can see. And I've attached them to plastic card uh, with some plastic card uprights to make these uh, posts. And I think I'm quite happy with them. Uh, I know some people have said that you don't need the uh, BR logo on there, but I like the little touch of the BR logo on there. And uh, I just think it's uh, added that little bit more to, to the actual layout. I've uh, added them to other parts of the station. So there's one over the back there, as you can see once it zooms in. And uh, on the center of the platform, I've got some here. And further down there's, there's one there and uh, one there and I just think it adds that little bit uh, more to the uh, layout Some new items of rolling stock I've added to the layout. If you would have saw my last video, you would have seen some video footage of this Class 33 running round. Uh, really nice uh, Hellion mo uh, model. Now I was quite fortunate to pick this up for £105 uh, from the hobby shop in Faversham uh, online. Now check out their website. Uh, you don't have to go on the sale side of it. But if you type in, uh, go through the search tabs and go to Backman Locos, at the moment they've got a, a DRS 37, I think it's concrete bob, uh, for £115. And they're doing the latest, uh, sorry, the first batch of Deluxe 47s for £150, which is the cheapest I've ever seen them. So uh, it's worth checking out that model shop. 
And as you can see on the left there, I've got one of these uh, Hatton's Genesis coaches. Really nice model, really impressed with it. And uh, check out Jenny Kirk's review on it because she shows in a bit more detail uh, of what's uh, on the uh, coach and inside the coach. So I'm not gonna do a review for you here and bore you all, but uh, I just thought I'll show uh, the new item that I've added to the layers. <clears throat> okay, over at the depot side, something I've added to uh, the scale model scenery building is some scale model scenery uh, air conditioning units. Now these are just uh, a piece of uh, laser cut board with a wrap but uh, I was a bit unsure about it at first uh, but then uh, one side uh, glued it all together and wrapped it round and let it dry uh, I think it looks quite convincing uh, I'm not a fan of the wraps and things like that uh, as a lot of my colleagues at uh, the Wally Model Railway Club will be, say the same but I was quite impressed with these actually and they're not mega expensive and uh, they're quite easy to uh, to do. Something else I've added to the layout is this little slide from the Metcalf kit and I've put a little uh, figure in from the Woodland Scenics range uh, as he's going down the slide. Nice little kit, it's a laser cut kit and uh, again it's not a mega expensive kit and you get two in a pack uh, there's one on here and uh, i've put one onto the hornby project at the Wally model railway club uh, margate warren so uh, you have to have a look out for that if you go to the Wally show but it's a nice kit easy to put together i recommend gluing it with rocket car glue because it tends to want to open back up while you're trying to glue it all together uh, so rocket car glue is the best for this one as it goes off a little bit quicker once you've uh, held it there for a few seconds and uh, they're a nice little kit One of the recent wagons that I've got on the layout, it's been on for a few months now, is this Markling, uh, I wouldn't open wagon. So uh, if Anthony Dodge watches this, uh, you have to let me know what type of wagon this is. I don't know if you can zoom in and uh, read any of the uh, legends on it. I've added the BR logo and uh, I've added that ZBA for it to go with the crane. But uh, it's just something that I picked up from one of the shows that's pretty it was cheap and it was yellow, which matched into some of my uh, departmental stock. And I thought it'd be something unusual to put on the layout. So uh, if you are watching uh, this, Anthony, you'll have to uh, let me know what you uh, think this wagon is. Okay, that brings me to the end of this video. It's only a short one, just to show you a few little things that I've been doing on the layout. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to hit the like button and share, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, the usual stuff. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all again soon. And don't forget to uh, look out for me at the uh, Wardy Show. I'll 90% of the time on the Saturday, I'll be on a uh, layout called Margate Warren, which is near the entrance. So uh, if you see me, uh, pop over and say hello, and it'd be nice to meet you, and uh, have a chat. 
Uh, and don't forget all to check out uh, the show coming up in November. Uh, it's at the end of November at uh, the NEC, uh, as it's one of the biggest shows in the country, so it's worth uh, going. And if you get the tickets in advance, you get them cheaper than on the door. I think they're £20 on the door, and I think they're 18 in advance, so uh, it ain't too bad. It's not that mega expensive. Just, I know there's a lot of people moaning about the parking, the price of the parking. I think you can get it down to £12, something in advance, and or six, and there's a £16 one, and then I think it's a little bit dearer on the day. So uh, what we're recommending people do is uh, get the training. And I think it's uh, only a few quid on the train if you get it from a station called Marston Green, which is at the end of the runway, which is a great little station. All the trains go whizzing through there at full speed. And uh, it's free parking. And it's a couple of quid on the train to go into uh, the NEC station. So like I say, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.